Hey guys, what's going on? here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the tournament server. We got um, we got field 21 to fertilize. We're going to go ahead and do field 17. Collect the payment from that and collect the. We're actually we're going to we're going to fertilize field 21 right here. Accept that. We might do this harvesting one. I don't think we will. Just because I know it's going to be a good yield because we fertilized it like forever. And we kept on fertilizing it. So it's going to have a good yield on it. And I think I might fill up the um, fertilizer spreaders a little more. We do have the 7R on this one and the 8R on the other one. And then of course we're going to start planting. We got the, um, the 8400 on that. We'll open up the cover here. We'll fill them to like 10,000. Or so, but this will bring in a pretty good paycheck, 145,000. That's like a semi load of beans. We'll also probably be holding, hauling some beans today into town. We'll see what the grain prices do. 14, yeah, central grains kind of you can't sell there, but oh, yeah, we're definitely selling beans there at 1700, way more than what I did yesterday. So we'll unfold this. We're gonna drive down over to that corner there. Hire a worker the long way, going that way. And then we'll hire one going up to the top. Let them run the whole, probably take them a while, hour or two. That's what I like about having running two spreaders. And you can cover some acres pretty fast. And you bring in quite a bit of money. And it's not, the implement's not small, it's nice and big. You know, you fill it up and you can pretty much run all day long with one full tank, which is quite a little. And then, of course, we're going to be doing chores. We'll be, let's see, we'll be spreading. Spreading some fertilizer. So this is actually planted to cotton. That's what they said, or what it's looked like. We'll get in this one. We'll go ahead and also fill it up to, like, 10,000, probably 9,000. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll fill it up. We'll take it to the top and hire him out. All right, so now we can hire out a worker up here. Put about 9,000 in, about $4,000 worth. And here's the, oh, that is the 8400. Jumping in, it looks like it needs a little washing. And then we have that tractor left, and the 40, what is that? Is it the 48, 4850? We'll put this on the planter, the DB90. We're gonna plant our big old field, the corn. And then, then we'll have to plow all the field, and then we'll plant it to wheat. That's what my plan is, or oats. Probably some of it to oats, unless we buy a new field, and we'll do that. And this tractor tends to climb walls when you hit them. So we'll pull this out. Uh, we're not going to run too much fertilizer. In fact, I wish I could unload the fertilizer. Can I unload fertilizer? I don't think you can because it's a modded planter, and they didn't set it up right when they converted it over. Because I'm pretty sure they didn't make this. Looks like to me it's converted from. 17 over to 19 so we'll skip past the fertilizer because it doesn't actually put it on anyway um, we'll just fill it up with seed switch it over to corn or we could do sunflowers which is a better price right now we have 700 they're all pretty good prices really sunflowers don't add up too much they're kinda like beans we might do sunflowers the sunflowers you have to plow and we'll just stick to corn. Stick to corn for now. We might plant some sunflowers later. We'll see. And we'll take this out to the field. We'll probably plant. Probably just hire them out up here, actually. That's what I'm thinking. Turn and go out this way around the grass spot. We do have to mow hay. I'll probably be mowing hay in my video if you guys want to go check that out. Links in the description or on the card above. We'll be doing that on the next episode. And yeah, some more FS19 content of mine, if you guys want to see more. Okay, so we'll drop it in the ground, kick the planter on, and we'll be planting some corn. A little lag spike there. Don't know what that was about. But this is the old DB90. It's a pretty good sized planter. We'll go ahead and hire him out. And see, he's using fertilizer on there. But if you look on this, see, this is all one stage, and it stays one stage. It doesn't put a second stage on. When you go over it so basically just uses nothing 
it doesn't put the second stage on when you plant but it did put the stage on here so I'm thinking it does work it just doesn't put the second stage on which is strange however we'll go ahead and what do we gotta do next animals how are they doing I did go ahead and ride the horses this morning so they are all good we did get another cow or a calf I should say now we went ahead and rode them all we're at 30,000 on the one horse and then these we must have bought all at the same time because they're all the same money. And we're keeping them rode every day. Looks like they're doing good on that. What about the cows? We need to clean them up. Probably take the telehandler and do that. And we'll take the semi. Maybe mix some stuff. I don't know. We'll probably... We'll, we'll go ahead and jump in the telehandler and we'll clean up the cow. Cow mess in front. Get them cleaned up. And we do... Oh yeah, we do have a new baler. Um, I'm pretty sure more about this. He bought the 568 baler. We still have the square baler, which I like to run. Puts out square bales, and I th I don't know if that round baler puts out big big round bales or not. I'm gonna have to try that. So if you guys do want to see that, go ahead and check that out. Links in the description to it. I'll be doing that in the next video. Probably spreading some manure on the fields out there. And what was they gonna do? Oh, jump in the tell handler. I think it's actually in here. Or they sold it. Oh, yep, it's right here. Right here. I missed it when I ran out of here. In fact, now I remember tabbing into it earlier. The only reason I used it is because it's got the bucket on it already. So, we'll take that. Go ahead and clean up the mess. We do have the water trailer there. Probably should water them. Or maybe sell milk. How much milk do we have? 11,000? That really ain't a lot. We can hold... 32,000 in that trailer. That's a pretty good amount. Can we dump this in yet? I don't think we can. Or wait, we got another cow, so we might be able to. Yep, we can. So we got another cow, so I'm guessing it's going to be at 32,000. 132,000. I don't know. I'll we'll test that out. But they really haven't ate nothing. I kept them full. And they haven't ate nothing so far. We'll see when it rolls around midnight again. It's almost midnight now. And we'll go ahead and put this away because it should be cleaned up now. Helper F stopped. Tank is empty. So that's the planner. I can see it because he's up on field 5 there. He shut off. Tab into that. We do have a lot of equipment. We'll see if he can run. There we go. Oh, he might not run when there's. I might have to fill it with fertilizer anyway because he won't run. Okay, so we went ahead and drove this back to the place where we fill. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it just because it won't run by itself, and I don't want to run it myself because we're doing other things. And we're really busy right now because we got to get this planted, and then tomorrow it'll grow a first stage. I don't know why it won't fill. It's weird. There it goes. So, yeah, we got to get the first stage fertilizer on, which is on. We went ahead and limed it. So that's all good. We don't have to do that anymore. Um, so we got those two, and then I wish this was the third stage of fertilization, but it's not, so we'll have to wait till it grows, till the crop grows up, and then it will be third, or no, second stage. And every time this little hump here hangs it up, just because the planter's so low, kind of drags. We got that, and then we have to fertilize it all again tomorrow. I probably won't record that, I'll probably just get on and do it, or Brett or somebody might do it. And then, we might as well clean out the slurry pit and the manure pit. I'll do that soon, not sure exactly when, probably pretty soon, maybe even this video. I might do that. Just cause, you might as well throw it on this field that's not planted, get a little extra fertilization on it. We'll probably go buy the in-game slurry machine, and we'll do that. Go ahead and get this unfolded, and we'll start that worker up again. Alright, so we got him running. We're going to jump in this tractor, fire it up, and we're going to go to slurry tanks. Now, it takes like 85 horsepower to run that one. Smaller tank, we got 8,000. How much do we have to spread? 34, so like four loads. That wouldn't be too bad. Manure, 18. What's the manure spreader hold? 10, 15? That ain't terrible. How much is... I think we'll just put the manure spreader on this tractor, and then we'll buy the slurry wagon, we'll put it on that tractor, and we'll run it from there. 
Now the manure should be in here. Yep, it's all the way to the back. Back up all the way in here. Get that pulled out. Grab the telehandler. We'll go ahead and load it. Great demand at Grain East Elevator. It's great demand for oats. 1,500 in oats. You know, if we had your oats growing right now and we need, we were harvesting them, I'd go ahead and sell them. But I don't want to sell too much. I think I'll sell... Definitely got to sell these today. Got to get most of them sold. Have a good amount of oats to sell. Or not oats. Soybeans. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. We'll probably sell the soybeans here in a little bit. Um, hopefully I don't forget. And not do it. But 1700 is a pretty decent price. I sold the last load at 1500 so it's a pretty good price there. And we'll park this, I don't know, park about right there. Probably just kind of spread it out in the field somewhere. Or along the border, something like that. We'll get the telehandler because it's got a bigger bucket on it. Fire that thing up. I wish we would have got a Massey Ferguson telehandler. I wish we would have. But we'll go ahead and drive up. We'll go ahead and scoop, scoop up to some manure. And get it all loaded into the trailer okay so we're here now we're gonna scoop up that should be like three or four loads probably just because the John Deere buckets holds like 1900 and this holds 26 so it's almost double which is good I'm gonna boom out a little bit we can dump it some more all right so this spreader this is probably the second time spreading uh, more farmer made a video he's the partner in this he made a video on it I'm gonna make a video on it. Kind of just a probably this is gonna probably be a longer video today. I'm gonna try to start making a little longer ones on the tournament, just because there's so much to do. That way, I don't have to make so many videos on the tournament. But it just all depends. I think I might be getting sick soon, so we'll see how that goes. So it might actually kind of crash and not do that. As you guys can probably tell. I am a little sick. I don't know if you can or not, but we're going to get this loaded up and get all of it spread out. All right, so we went ahead and got the manure all done. We're going to, I think we're just going to kind of spread it out in the field somewhere. I don't know exactly where yet because, actually, I don't know where we can go. Well, yeah, we'll spread this. We'll just go ahead and go across here. We'll just spread it straight across like this. Should be doing a manure texture. Looks like it is. Spreads pretty far, basically just shoots it out the side and does that. It burns it up pretty quick. It runs through it pretty fast, the old manure. And I'm just going to kind of do this little area in here. Hopefully I can get most of it done. Probably should have started on that side, worked my way back. But oh well. And looks like it's going to ride right on the front duel, so that's how I'll line up the other side. Is I'll do this. I might just do the border like this, kind of try to attempt that. It's going to be a little tricky because it won't get underneath the spreader, obviously. But it will get some of it. And we'll probably be empty, like, really fast. We don't have, a, we have like two buckets. So we'll probably go fill that, get it spread out, might as well. And then we'll probably do it in a few more days, like five or six more. We'll have another load to spread. Normally you wouldn't do it that frequently. Normally you'd pile it up and then do it when it's like in the spring. Because obviously you have seasons when you can do it. Like right now I can do it because the field's all done. And that's why I'm doing it. It's because the field is harvested and needs fertilized. So we'll fertilize it. Alright, that load's done. I'll go ahead and fold it up. And we'll get the next bucket load. Spread it out some one of these times. Probably do it off camera. But the one thing about manure is that it burns it up so fast so really you gotta have a lot of manure to do it and I found out when the spreader gets full you when you dump it in it doesn't actually go into the spreader it goes on the ground so that's kind of yeah that's kind of what happened there so this should be one bucket and then there's like a little bit in there to do also scoop it up should be able to get all of it maybe not we'll just dump this in and we'll get the rest put in and then we'll go get the slurry machine. Actually, what we sh should do, go ahead and buy a slurry tanker. We should get like a giant one, just a big one. Probably not. Um, 
kind of want to get this one but it's a real high dollar I'm gonna get the cheapo cheap one we'll do we have a lot of different colors on our farm I think we're gonna do case or blue we'll do this color this color is a decent color wheel setup we got color white design is white we'll do color eh, white white looks good wide tire standard we'll do wides we'll go ahead and buy that and we'll have to go pick it up also we should buy like a big old New Holland or something something cool with it might buy a 380 case something kinda wanna buy a case yet I kinda wanna buy land so I'm kinda saving up for land cause the in-game tractors are very expensive and I kinda wanna get like you know you don't wanna have all John Deere like I know you guys probably don't like to have all John Deere like this like what's on this farm so you try and change it up but really I haven't bought much I've just been on here for a little while and we wanna save up for the different tractors and stuff so whenever we trade these tractors off because at 40 hours you have to trade them off they're at 25 30 some of them so whenever you trade them off I don't I think you have to get the same tractor but I'll probably get a different tractor just because you have to pay the difference and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and wash this bucket out Might as well power wash that off so that when we do silage we scoop up silage the cows don't get their own manure to eat we'll clean this up we'll go ahead and spread that other thing out and we might as well go ahead and jump in our new pickup I don't know which I don't know which one they added in I think it's this Ford one of these Fords I'm not sure it's the Platinum whatever that is I think this is the Platinum it says Platinum on it I'm going with it and it's got two hours on it it's kind of a quiet pickup though anyway yeah we got one Chevy I'm gonna be driving the old Ford today Ford Platinum we're gonna buzz up to the shop. I've never actually been to the shop. The only area I've been to is just right around the farm. And we do have to haul grain still. So there's our manure, or our lime thingy, my bob. Or the slurry thing, slurry spreader. There we go. We're gonna go up, get that, bring it back with the pickup. So this is what the shop looks like. It's just a little spot there. Looks like there's a little something there. Not much. I don't know whose stuff this is, but. Yeah, I don't know whose stuff that is. But we'll pull this home. We'll probably have to put it on one of the in-game tractors so that it doesn't drag the ground and all that. And we'll go ahead and take this home and get it hooked onto a tractor. All right, so we made it to the farm. We're gonna unhook it. We're gonna park this pickup right here for now. And I wanna put it on the 40, I wanna say 4650 because that's what we got, but it's a 4850 and we'll hook this on now I think I'm pretty sure the PTO will go on the ground but we might as well use this tractor just because it's out of game and I want to use it okay so we got that hooked on I'm gonna go ahead and pull around the to the cow yard we'll load it up with slurry looks like we're missing a hose we need another hose on this side I don't know if they intentionally did that or what feels like they made it like that got the big old tires on this thing too so here's the slurry pit. Doesn't say how full it is, like in percentages. Normally it's like such and such percent full. Let's see if the stand here. Nope. Must have got rid of it. Oh, here we go. Thirty-four thousand. Just, just like a cone, just goes back and forth like that. That's weird. So how? These guys are probably. Oh yeah, they're half done. They're probably three quarters. So this is nice and full. Where should we blow this out on? Right here. Kick that puppy on. It's not a very wide spreading width. But it's a decent sized one. So that's kind of like the texture for it. Kind of neat. What do we got? We put stage 2 on. That's good. We're going to go ahead and hire out a worker so that he can run straight. And yeah, they just kind of spread it out like that. And then like there's this different texture. It's weird pretty cool we'll let that guy run just because I don't want to like you know if we had GPS I'd run him but I tend to drive all over the place especially when I'm lagging a little bit so there's kind of like a gloss coating it's weird all right now finally we can jump in the Kenworth fire him up make sure the planner's still running okay 
Oh, so he is putting on third stage here because he has to plant the lime. Plant over the lime. That's kind of neat. Alright, so we have three semi-loads of beans. Of soybeans. Actually, four... You know, I don't remember how many we have. But we, I went ahead and put everything in the bin. We have seven... Yeah, there's like at least four. Because this, this fully loaded... This fully loaded holds 120,000 liters. Now that's a good amount of liters. So that's like two of the semi regular semis in the game. Each grain hopper holds 40. And let's see, did we put any in here? I didn't put any, any in here, but I went ahead and left. Like, I left all the semis full, so they might have put some in here. So I don't know. We got wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans. Yes, they put 50 thousand in. 50,000 or 500,000? Oh, this much right here. I think the other one probably got full. Move forward, we'll get this filled up. I see that the uh, tanker dude, planter dude, quit again. We might as well fill him up with both this time. Fertilizer and seed, we'll take him back out here. Hire out that worker again. Let him run. Hopefully get this planted today. And collect our big paycheck from the mission, which is 78% done. Okay, so we went ahead and got the planter filled. We're gonna go ahead and repair it. $2,000, quite a big repair bill on it. But we gotta keep it running at efficient speeds so that we can get it done a little quicker. It was running, I think, normal speeds 10 or 8, and it dropped down to like 6. It just drops a few speeds once in a while. So we'll jump over this cliff again, and we'll get him hired out and start working. All right, so he's going. We're going to tab around. We got this guy to drive. Drive all the way down to the field, to the other end of the field. Not sure what he did there. It's kind of like lopsided. It's not straight. It's weird. Very strange. We'll get this guy filled up, back to running. Actually, what was I going to do? Oh, well, yeah, I was going to fill that truck up. So we'll get this truck filled up, this little semi. We got a lot of cleanup stuff to do. That'll probably be what'll be my video on my channel. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description. Or in the cards below. Or above, I guess. Alright, so we got this all loaded up. 120,702. We're going to take it up the road here. We got to take it to Grain Elevator East. These boys are about done fertilizing this field. Missions are almost done. We're going to floor this semi up there and see if we can't get a good deal. Get some money rolling in. Alright, so it looks like we have to dump in there. We have to get that semi pulled in there. And looks like more farmer, or no, master farmer. Get those two mixed up once in a while. Master farmer's combine sitting there. Looks like his spreader's in the background. We're going to get this pulled in here. we got some recycling bins there. Pull in. Looks like we made it alright. We'll switch to the front hopper. Okay, it's on the front. We'll go ahead and leave this up for a little bit, because I think we can probably dump two. We'll get this guy unloaded. Switch, unload the front on the second trailer. Then when that's done, we'll switch and unload the back on the front one. Then we'll switch and unload the back on this one. And then we'll go to the back, and we'll unload the front on that one. Or the back, I guess. And then... We will switch it, unload that. So we got 67,000. How much harvest income we make? We got 156,000, 190,000 water costs. What's that? Oh, that's harvest. Oh, I just messed it up. All right, 190 on harvest income. We got contracts, 57,000. About to get more today. And we still have some in there for some weird reason. Okay, so I'm guessing the price dropped. Good amount. Oh, not really. We might get another load and haul it up there quick. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. And we will see you all in the next one.